guys, welcome to Elevated Systems. I'm your host, CJ, and this is the point where I typically do my monthly PC build video. And I had a plan for that build. Let's go over the plan real quick. See, I have some really great components. The system is built around my Ryzen 5 5600X paired with my AMD Radeon RX 6800 reference card. I have a 2x16 gigabyte set of G-Skill Trident Z DDR4 3200CL14 memory, a one terabyte Sabrent Rocket Q NVMe M.2 SSD, a Corsair CX750M power supply, and a Be Quiet Dark Rock Slim Tower Cooler. I also have a Lian Lee Landcool 215 to put it all in. That's actually still in my garage. The only thing I need to complete the build is a motherboard. And my somewhat local micro center has an open box ASRock Phantom Gaming B550 Velocita for $155. Good board, plenty of features, but mostly it just a really great match for the reference RX 6800. A especially when I tied it all together with some matching custom cables. That was the plan, but I'm scrapping that plan. I'm not building this computer today for a couple reasons. First, I like to build systems as guides for you so you can purchase all the components and build the same system having a good understanding of how it all goes together and how it's going to perform. Unfortunately, you can't currently buy the core of this system. I had to camp out at my micro center twice to get my hands on the CPU and then the GPU. And while the 5600X is becoming more available, unless you're actively tracking it on multiple retail sources, it's still pretty difficult to get your hands on. And the graphics card, well, I'm not even going into that. I spent more time than I should have expressing my views on the non-launch of this card in my review video. Bottom line is you definitely can't buy one of these for the foreseeable future. So since you can't build it, I'm not gonna build it. Instead, I'm gonna do something completely different today. Most of you guys who've been following the channel for a while know that basically 95% of everything you see on the channel, I bought and paid for out of my own pocket. In this build, with the exception of the cooler, which be quiet sent over for a previous project and the ssd which i reviewed for saber in a while back i bought all of this stuff and the plan was to drive up to denver yesterday and buy the motherboard i didn't do that so i have some extra cash on hand now so instead of buying more computer parts i'm gonna do something a little more useful with the money now unless you've been living under a rock for all of 2020 you know there's a worldwide pandemic and of the many problems this is causing one that hits close to home for me i mean not now but in the past is food insecurity since the pandemic food pantries around the world have been overwhelmed with lines of people who just can't afford to feed themselves or their family and as we move into the holiday season, those needs are even greater. So I've looked up what food items my local food bank is in need of, and instead of going to Micro Center, I'm here at my local grocery store to fill a cart with non-perishable food. Okay, now that I got the 20 bags of groceries, let's go deliver it. And there's many places in my city that I can do that, but there's only one place that I can think of that will know how to make best use of it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here, I'm at the Care and Share Food Bank of Southern Colorado. They'll be able to take these 20 bags of food that I got and distribute it throughout Southern Colorado to all the shelters and missions. So let me get this stuff dropped off. All right, mission accomplished. Now I got one more stop to make, but 
this is a completely personal and selfish stop. So I just had to make a quick stop at my local comic book store because if there's one thing I spend more money on than computer parts, it's comic books. All right, so here is my weekly stack of comics. And I'm actually kind of excited about this new Witcher comic. So I'm going to get home and read that before I even finish this video. Oh, he died. Okay. So the comic run didn't have anything to do with, well, anything, but it was just down the road from the food bank and is one of my weekly stops anyway. And I know I could have used that 80 bucks on more food, but I'm charitable. I'm not a saint. I'm not trying to be. Besides, these are my regular subscription, so they'd still be there waiting next week anyway. So the food I donated today is just a tiny fraction of what's needed to feed families in these well, crappy times. But those few bags will help feed 10 or more families. And if you want to do a little to help, I included a link in the description below to the Feeding America Food Bank Finder, where you can just plug in your zip code and find your local food bank. If you don't have one close to you, you can also make a financial donation through the site. For my overseas viewers, I also included the link to the Global Food Banking Network where you can also make donations. Now, I'm not a big celebrity spokesperson. I'm just a normal guy doing a little something to try to make a small difference in the world I live in. I honestly was debating whether to do this whole food donation thing in the video at all. I was just going to not build the PC because of the well, bad launches, including today's, or at the time I'm filming this, today's non-launch of the AIB cards. Again, not going to get into that. I'm trying to keep this positive. I ultimately decided to take you along on my personal decision to purchase and donate the food because if I could influence just a few of you who watch this to do the same thing, then more than helping anyone choose the right PC component or building a functional computer, I'd feel like I made a meaningful difference using the very small platform I have on YouTube. So that's it. For those of you who are just here for the tech stuff, no judgment. And I got you covered too. Now, over the past year, there have been some pretty disappointing product launches from this Ryzen 5 1600AF and this Ryzen 3 3300X the NVIDIA RTX 30 series, which I still don't have any of those, the Ryzen 5000 series, which in all honesty was not great, but not the worst, and the latest RX 6000 GPUs, which I think was the worst. Today, or well, it'll be last week when I post this, the complete unavailability of the third-party cards and their expected MSRP just cemented that for me anyway. So that leaves me in a weird place. I spend quite a bit of money on these components, but in the case of these two CPUs, they were released in such limited quantities and quickly discontinued, I don't really have a need to keep them in inventory. Why hold on to a product that isn't worth making content on? As far as the RX 6800, despite the launch, it's a great card and I feel bad just letting it sit on a shelf just to be taken down to compare it to new GPUs as they launch. So I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get these components. Now, I can't just give all of these away. I'm far removed from needing to visit food banks to feed my family, but I'm still by no means rich. These all cost me well, over 1200 bucks, not to mention the two nights I spent camped outside to get these. So. I am giving away the Ryzen 3 3300X. You can find the details for that on my Twitter. My Twitter handle is in the description below. Now, there's only one requirement to enter, no multiple social media likes and shares and retweets, but I will be announcing the winner on my Twitter feed, so it would probably be a good idea to follow me there. So for the rest of these, 
I will be selling them. Yes, I know, boo. But if I want to keep making content, I need the cash to do it. While I have received support from some great brands, most companies aren't lining up to send me stuff. That's just how it works when you're a small channel, and I'm okay with that. Who's not okay with that is my chief financial officer, aka my wife. If I give these away, she'll cut me off and I'll be reviewing, well, comic books. So to recoup the funds, which I'll reinvest in products that everyone can readily buy, I'll be listing these on eBay at cost. Cost being what I paid for them, plus the tax I paid and shipping, but I won't be marking them up to scalper prices. Now, I really want one of my viewers to be the one to buy these. However, there really isn't a true private listing option on eBay. And I need to use eBay for the included buyer and seller protections, even though they are gonna take their cut, which means I'm still losing cash on the deal. So to help try and even the odds that one of you will get one of these, I'll be posting the eBay links in the description below exactly 48 hours after I post this video. So I'll post the video Sunday, 29 November at 10 a.m. Mountain or 9 a.m. Pacific time. So I'll add the links Tuesday, 1 December at 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific. First come, first serve. That's how I got them to begin with, but you don't have to wait in the cold all night. I'm also gonna make the picture and title of the items pretty vague so non-viewers may overlook the items, but the description will be accurate because then the eBay rules. Unless a week goes by and none of you buy the stuff, then it's open market time. Also, the giveaway and the sales will be limited to the United States. I know, I'm, I'm sorry, but the unpredictability and cost of international shipping is just something I, I can't deal with right now. Now, if you're watching this video after the first and the stuff is long sold, don't get mad and hit the dislike. Just click subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss these sales in the future because this is how I've decided to handle products I purchase and review that happen to have a very limited launch or release. Also, if you're watching this within 30 days of posting it, you can still enter to win the 3300X, which is a great CPU for a lower budget gaming or desktop PC. And if you're watching it a lot longer for now, just find your local food bank and make a donation and feel good knowing you help somebody less fortunate than you. But that's it for this one, guys. I really hope viewers get one of these things and good luck in the 3300X giveaway. Again, I'll be making the announcement on my Twitter feed just after the new year. And I'll be back next week with a cool little project I just finished up at grandma's house. Hope to see you for that. Until then, stay safe and happy holidays.